I left home at 5.45. And then I got back at, I have a timeline here, at 12.39. That's like seven hours or something. It's like six six hours and, and 54 minutes. That's like $11 an hour. Because I got paid $75 at the end of it. Needles, he's a music producer or whatever. Um, so this guy right here, he's trying to like do this thing. It's like this... Um, tiny desk type thing right and he's running this stuff i helped shoot this music video by the way because this dude's like main videographer ray shot by ray i'm like working occasionally with him I like helping him out with projects and things like that like his projects um and he's also like doing all this stuff for this artist sherry silver and so uh yeah look multi grammy award winning whatever whatever for like a bunch of big artists so he's trying to do this thing. He's trying to make it like a big thing. This thing called Guest House. And this is actually this dude. I pulled up this video because this dude showed up. I literally got the SD cards yesterday. This was from way earlier. But the SD cards I got, got from yesterday from the last shoot. I was with this dude named Radio who was filming. And he wiped my SD cards. He does this every time. I don't know what the hell's like. Whatever. You do you, man. But that's like annoying. Also, Also, like... I got paid $75, and the thing is, like, in this kind of, in this work right here, unless I'm really out here demanding, you know, or not demanding, unless I have a lot of demand, I don't really get to set my rates just yet, you know? Because there's a lot of people who do what, who will do what I'm going to do for free. Um, and so I'm not at that at that position just yet. And by just yet, I mean, like, like I'm like a couple weeks away. Because of that, it's just like, hey, whatever they pay is whatever they pay. And if the pay is not good, then, like, after a couple shoots, I'll just stop working with them. Like, that's just how it'll be. Or I'll let them know or something like that, you know? But I don't, like, negotiate the pay. I don't do any of that stuff. But I will soon. But I'm not doing this thing again. I don't like guest house. I don't like dealing with... This dude radio was, like, really... um He took the Sony FX6 insanely expensive camera more expensive than any than all my equipment combined actually um and then he hooked up the battery to the back of it huge battery you gotta uh you know really lock it in place so it stays steady and so he puts it in but he doesn't lock it in places like here yeah put it on the tripod he's sitting there sitting back chilling on his phone whatever first of all i would never hire a videographer if they had three chains on their neck three three like really heavy cuban links and their fingers were covered in rings, like huge rings, to the point where you can't even fist bump them because it would hurt. It's like brass knuckles, the way that he had so many rings. It's like, bro, this person clearly does not care about filming. It's so obvious. They, they clearly care about like the money they're making from it, but they have no passion for filming. And you can tell by the way that a person looks and the way that a person dresses, if they come looking like fresh as hell, I don't want to hire that person. They're, they're, they're not in it for the right reasons. They're not in it to show off their camera. They're in it to show off their fit. So, yeah, no, it, it seemed like, a, you know, this guy was a bit out of his depth. And, and he's just, you know, out here good at networking, basically. And he is. It's not even his camera. He didn't even have any of his own equipment. He was just borrowing the equipment from the actual main videographer who just kept it all in the closet. And then even when he hooked up the equipment... He's like, tell me, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. I already knew how to do everything he showed me. But I'm like, okay, yeah, never outshine the master. Let him just explain it to me. Um, but then he puts the battery on the thing. He doesn't hook it up all the way. He's like, yeah, put this on the tripod. And then I go to hook it up on the tripod and the battery falls out. And it's like super loud. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Like, I'm not going to be responsible for some major screw up that's going to cost like $7,000 that I have to pay because of your negligence. That's not happening. So yeah, I'm not doing guest house anymore if this is the kind of way that it's gonna be done. But yeah, that was the last shoot. But the shoot before the last shoot, you see, it's very rare that like artists that have like something unique, something special actually come through. Usually they're just coming on there just acting like it's American Idol or whatever the way that they're performing. But this dude, Johnny Apollo, I wanted to put him on, I hit him up. To do a music video, I don't know if it's gonna happen. It was actually to this song, but the way he came and performed, like he came in, like, 
lean back, taking up the entire space of the couch. Like everyone thought he was like, okay, this dude's just going to be like trap, rap, whatever, right? Just like brainless rap, right? But then he comes in and does this. Oh. And he said that his inspirations are like, uh, damn, I forgot. He said Kid Cudi. And then he said another person that was like really James Blake. Yeah, he said Kid Cudi and James Blake. No. Can't believe my camera was out of focus. But when I started hearing him sing, I'm like, there's no way this is about to sing. Covered in tats and everything with tennis chains and all that. My camera's been out of focus this whole time. Now we're good. He sent me the song, and actually it's even better than the way he performed it. Usually it's all the way around, usually on like these tiny desk things, when they perform it, it ends up being better than the actual song. But um, yeah, no, the song is even better. I have some really cool ideas for it, but he hasn't hit me back up yet. I like how I like how he messed up right here, cause that's how it's supposed to go. But because he had to catch his breath, he still hot back on beat and just changed it up a little bit. And that's like what the whole like tiny dust thing is all about. At least in my opinion, I've only seen a couple episodes, but I'm like, man, that's really where the magic would be if if this is what they're doing. When I heard that, when I heard that, I was like, damn, this guy's got something, he's got a little extra. Because usually people from Atlanta looking like this or whatever, who were talking the way he was talking, it's like, you can expect the kind of music they're going to make. But he clearly has something else going on, some passion to it, you know? This guy's crazy too at guitar. That part's the best part of the whole song right there. That melody, that like when he when it drops down like that, that's so good. That's so good. But yeah, I I see the like the whole and I'd like for there to be a new Cuddy. You know, Kid Cuddy's actually an artist that really, really deeply resonates with me personally. Um we also share the same birthday, January 30th. So Don't you want go to my land and watch the show?
interesting is they're recording all the audio to, to do it in editing, to throw it all in there. My camera actually catches pretty damn good audio because the microphone that I use. But yeah, that was Guest House. I also got this. It's so good. See, like, you know, I usually get the footage and then I end up deleting it once on my computer because I don't need it anymore. Um, I just check if I need something. But then I saw this in, like, this, uh, like, little, like, little girl, like, eight years old, like, Reagan or whatever. We're like, it's Reagan's world. We were shooting some music video and all this stuff. And she's like, oh, I want my, like, little brother to be in the video. And it's, like, this, like, baby. And, like, her older sisters are like, hey, yeah, put, her, put him in the video. Put him in the video. And I don't think he's going to be in the video. So... Just for like logs, just to save this here up on YouTube. That was the first time in a music video. I figured I would just save them in here, you know? Guys, I'm too excited. Okay, Come on, we're gonna go in here. Okay. I don't know why we went in here, but okay. Hey, you wanna see how you look? Yeah, he's probably not gonna end up in the video. I mean, like we were joking back and forth, like put him in the video because they're like, oh, he's so cute, put him in the video. He deserves to be in the video. He's so great, at he's such a performer, you know? And the newest video we recorded, which was Hunt, I think, no, not Hunt, not Hunt. The newest video we recorded was Shine. Yeah, and I think he might be in that one. Maybe, potentially at some point, there might be some scene, because it's like in a church, there might be some scene where he's in the video, like being held up by his mom or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, um, this footage, they were like, just record it, just record it. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to, like, this ain't my footage to decide what to do with. I don't get to do, I don't get to decide, like, what happens to this. I'm not the one editing. But, you know, I might as well just show this. Just in case, you know, Reagan ever wanted this footage again, or like her sisters or her dad or whoever went over one this footage i just have it backed up on here you know just on this stream yep that's basically it 